Hi, good evening. All right. Hello. Hi, Eric. Hello. How are you? What's up? Uh, same old, same old thing, different day. How about you? <laughs> yeah. Good. So, so. So, so. All right. Please, hello. In, in this time, with, with this quarantine, it's too hard to say I'm good. Oh, yes. Always. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, we are pulling our hair, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are you know ready to to go out as soon as this quarantine stops right but you know we will i think it's going to take this a matter of time okay at least at least today we don't have new cases right everything is kind of normal right good hello liz how was your day can... uh, so -so. <laughs> okay good uh, not too much work not too much work. <laughs> Not too much work. Okay. You don't have too many things to do from your house? Uh, uh, only clean the house. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, from work? Yeah. From work? Um, no. because my work is more, is more um, operative. Okay, uh, operative, you know, with the operative. people. Okay. So then, then there is not much to do from your house, right? Um, no. Well, <laughs> at least you will clean your room, you will know, we'll put yeah, everything clean my room. <laughs> in order, right? Organize yeah, everything. Or yeah. Okay. So that's, that's good. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Fine. And what about the others? Oh, Veronica is coming in. Hi. Hello. How are you today? Right. Fine. A little busy. With the thing for my job. Oh, okay, good. Presentation yes. information to the city hall of San Luis Tanto. Okay, yes, because you work at the airport, right? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay, Carolina is here too. Okay. And who else? Yeah, thank Carolina, Eric. All right. So we have five people at least to start. Here we are, right? So this is the Section five, okay, and here the, we have the first uh, topic to be introduced today, okay. Eric, can you please read this uh, objective here? The lesson objective, right? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> let me, let me a minute, please. Okay. All right. No. Uh, lesson objective the future stance is what we use to discuss our plans or hopes and hopes sorry in this lesson learn how to use going to a will to convert a statement to the future tense english teach joe sands explains these two different ways to talk about future plans step by step using a simple formula Ask and answer question using going to and will as auxiliary verbs and practice discussing your future plans. For example, an upcoming vacation, holidays with family or having your plans for later in the day. Okay, good. Now let's see what they have for us here. Okay, we have future with be going to and will. Okay, for some of you, it probably this would be kind of a, a review. I think that we saw this one in the pre intermediate level too. But let's see.
plants and your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Can you hear anything? Your task no. is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at Can the end. Can you see the video? Yes. But I'm so excited. We have two weeks yes. off. Yes. What are you going to do? Okay. I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job. So it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're going to use be going to to express that. So for example, I'm going to take vacations next week. I'm going to go to France. That's just a quick example there. Um, you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand, let's say that you're gonna, uh, you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month, but I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets, I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on, then we're going to use these expressions. I guess I'll just um, stay home. Th these are the examples here in the book, but um, going back to our example about vacations, I guess I'll travel, but I'm not sure where. Uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you're thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. So quickly before we talk about this particular chart, what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to. So the examples on the left side of this chart. In order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future with be going to, we're going to sort of like, so in this case, I'm going to say um, I am going to stay home for the weekend okay that's what I want to express um, and so in order for us to form that idea I'm gonna have some sort of subject this is gonna follow the verb to be and then this is gonna follow going to if you notice going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future and then this is gonna follow the verb in its 
present form and then whatever complements. So like in this case, I'm going to stay home for the weekend, right? So this is what I've decided on doing. That's my plan. And so if you see towards the left side of the chart, we said that we're going to use be going to plus the verb for plans that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the expressions towards the right. Now, let me talk about the possibilities of what I'm going to do at my house. And so um, what I want to do is present this structure towards the right, because what I want to do is I want to think about the things that I haven't made a decision on. So in order for me to express those ideas, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of possibility, if you will. All right. And so what do I mean by that? Well, the expressions such as I guess, all right, the expression maybe. Uh, the expression I think, and the expression I probably, okay? Um, and so that's what I want you to notice here, right? So, well, I'm going to stay home for the weekend, I guess, and then this is going to follow a subject. I will watch the football game, all right? And so I could do the same thing for the rest of the possibilities that I mentioned. These are just words that will guide me towards expressing that this is not something that I've decided on. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. I probably will watch the football game. Now, um, with this last one here, I would like for you to pay attention to that one. Um, this is not going to follow the subject, okay? Uh, it will just continue to follow. I probably will watch the football game. But for the rest, you will need that subject there in the middle, okay? I guess I'll watch the football game. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. But however, with this one, you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle. I probably will watch the football game. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go. And then within that plan, think of all the possibilities. And of course, use this topic that we're covering today in class. So you may use these questions to help you with this exercise. How are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to go? When are you going to take your next vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? Now, if you look at, let's say, the second question, where are you going to go? You might have decided to take your vacation and you might know exactly where to go. And then again, you might not. So if you're sure about it, then you're going to use the expressions towards the left. You're going to use be going to plus um, you know, whatever complement that exists. So you're going to use, I'm going to go to Europe. All right. That could be a, um, your plan. But if you don't know, you haven't decided on, I'm not sure of where I'm going to go. I guess I'll travel, but I don't know where. And so you'll use the expressions towards the right side of this chart. I'll watch the football game. But however, with this one, you don't is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go and then within that help you with this exercise. How are you going to spend your if you look at let's say the second question you go and then again you might not. Okay. Basically here we have the the summary of the explanation, right? So you have be going to on the left. Okay, here. Yes. Use be going to plus there. Okay, there for plans. You have decided on. Okay. What about the the noise? Can you mute the microphone, please? Yes. Thank you. Okay, 
So then we have the 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 part here. So we have two parts. Going to, and then you have the plants you have already decided on, right? But this is when you um, so when you have a plan well defined, and you can give an answer based on that plan. Okay, for example, what are you going to do tomorrow? Okay, in my case, for example, I'm going to do some house work. Okay, this is my plan because tomorrow I will have free. I don't have many activities to do, so I already have a plan. I'm going to do housework. Okay, for example, I'm going to mow the lawn, cut the grass. Okay, I'm going to probably uh, uh, fix some little things in the house. Okay, different activities. That's my plan. Okay, but if you ask me, what are you going to do on Saturday afternoon? Then he said, um, I'm not sure. I guess I will watch some movies. Okay, I maybe I'll maybe I will listen to music, or uh, or I don't know. I think I'll. Uh, well, I cannot do anything. I'll go. I'll go swimming. No, I can't do that, right? Well, I think I will probably. Let me see. I will read. I will read some uh, technical books about teaching English. Okay, or I probably won't do anything in a sleep all day. Okay, this is when you don't have plans, right? This is you know something that uh, you might uh, answer in the moment. But this one going to when you already have a plan set. For example, how are you going to spend your next vacation? Okay, for example, I had, I had some plans before, like uh, one month ago. But now, but now my plans have changed. If you ask me, how are you going to spend your next vacation? Uh, my answer will, say, will probably be, I really don't know. Okay? Because, you know, in my previous plan, I could say I'm going to go to the beach for three days and uh, enjoy myself, okay? Or enjoy uh, the food, the beach, uh, the water in the swimming pools, and that's it, okay? But now, I don't know. Okay, where are you going to go? This so if easy. you're sure about it. Now it's very easy to answer, right? What are you going to go? Uh, on your next vacation list next month for Holy Week? Um, I'm going to uh, travel to another country. Okay, in April? Excuse me? In, in April, next month. Oh, no, it's uh, for, let's say for, but, uh, but for, I the, for the Holy Week? <laughs> uh, yes. What are you going to do? In the Semana uh, Santa, what are you going to do? How do you say if it goes a normaliza? <laughs> if everything, if, if everything, everything gets back to normal. Okay, if, if everything gets back. Gets back to gets normal. Back to normal. I'm going to travel to another country. Okay. I will to visit the beach. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Okay, so this is where you're going to go, right? This is the plan that you have. If everything gets back to normal. But if, back. But if it doesn't, if it doesn't get back to normal. <laughs> um, I'm going to visit the beach. I'm going to in a South Bay. Or simply stay home. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> stay home. Okay, stay home. when are you going to take your next vacation? Okay, so these are different uh, questions that we can ask all right so okay now please uh, now please write in your write in your computer paper or think about two questions okay two similar questions okay using how when you can use where 
how are you going to do, when are you going to, what are you going to, uh, why are you going to do this, okay? Two questions, okay? And that you can write and that you can select or memorize, it's up to you. Okay, for example, what are you going to do next week? What are you going to do uh, when we finish this level? Okay, where are you going to, where are you going to go on Monday? Okay, any question? Let me know when you're ready. The first one, excuse me, what are you going to do? It depends. You have to ask two questions. The first one, yes, the most, the most general one is what are you going to do, the first. Okay. And after that, you can ask why. Okay, suppose okay. if I say, what are you going to do this weekend? I'm going to, I'm going to go to, let's say I'm going to go to the supermarket. To the supermarket, yes, okay. And they say, why, why are you going to go to the supermarket? Because, because this and this. Yes. Oh, how are you going to go to the supermarket? Okay, I'm going to walk, I'm going to take my car, I'm going to ask a friend, I don't know, okay? I know you cannot ask a friend because only one person by car, right? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and like that, okay? So the first question has to be, what are you going? Or where are you going to go? Ready? Yes. Okay, Eric. Now, can you see the people in the group? Yes, we have uh, Liz, Jorge, Josue, Carolina, Veronica, Edisa, Diego, Xiomara, George, and Roxanne, okay? Eric, you choose a victim, okay? Choose a victim okay. from the group, okay? okay. And ask, Let me see. And ask Let the me two see. questions. <laughs> okay, Jorge, hi. Jorge Mendoza. Yes. Okay. Yes. Jorge. Uh, okay. This is a very difficult uh, question because I think everybody here is talking about that and it's very hard. But Jorge, how are you going to do when this pandemic is over? Okay. Uh, first, uh, probably. Uh, no, I am going to return my work. Okay. The first one, uh, after that, uh, I spend time with my family outside. Probably okay. I eat, uh, probably eating pizza because uh, for my daughter, it's a delicious food. <laughs> and finally, uh, I'll go to the back study English again. And that's all. Okay, thanks. Okay. All right, very good. Can, uh -huh. I, can I answer the second one? To yes, ask the second question. Okay. Uh, Veronica Portillo, are you listening to me? Hi. Hi, good evening. Okay, okay. What, what are you doing? going to do when you are a bilingual, when we finish this, these classes? A bilingual. Uh, I search for a new job. <laughs> I'm going to. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to search for a new job. Very good. I want to. Okay. Go to okay very good. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Eric, for your questions. Okay. Good. Now, uh, Jorge, choose a victim or two victims for your questions. Uh, okay. The first one is Yesenia. Hi. Hi, Yesenia. <laughs> <laughs> Andaba mordiendo un pan. Okay, don't worry. Okay, you ready? Yes. What are you going to do tomorrow? I I have to work. So I'm going. I have to work. I am going uh, to go to the bank. To go to the bank. Okay. To go to the bank, and I have to work. Okay. Okay. Next question. Okay, the last one, uh, Jorge Lemus. Okay, okay. <laughs> what are you going to do on Saturday? On Saturday. 
I'm going to, to work. Wow. Uh, yes, <laughs> I'm going to work uh, um, at, uh, at noon. At noon? Until yeah. noon? Until, Until noon. noon. Okay. Until the noon. Yes. Uh, I only that. <laughs> only that. Okay, very good. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Veronica, two questions. Okay, it's for um, Diego Marino. <laughs> hi. Yes, hi, tell me. Okay, what are you going to do for not boring in this quarantine? Okay, what are you going to do? Question, please? Sorry? Repeat, repeat the question, please. Ah, what are you going to for not boring in this quarantine? What activity about to? Okay, what are you going to do in order not to? Boring. Or in oh, this, this is quarantine? Uh -huh, or desperate in this desperate. quarantine? order to, uh, I, I didn't understand the question. All right. Um, I'm probably, I guess I will watch movies because uh, I, I will have enough time to, to watch. And also I will, I will watch my, my clothes because um, I will have the time to do it. And finally, I will spend I, I will spend my time sharing with my family here in my house, in our house. Very good. Great. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> okay, one more question, Veronica. And Xiomara. Okay. Hi. Hi. What are you going to do when this course finish? Um Probably, probably, I practice English. I will practice. In, I will practice English in my free time, and probably I sleep. <laughs> ¿Cómo se diría temprano? Early. Early. <laughs> I sleep early, <laughs> and only that. <laughs> okay. okay so thank you. <laughs> About sleeping, only Yesenia, okay? That's her favorite <laughs> action, okay? <laughs> okay, good. Okay, Yesenia. This you're... is my favorite uh, activity. My favorite. Favorite. Exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite exercise. Okay, good. Okay, Yesenia, two questions. Okay. Um, for Liz. Okay. Liz, uh, what are you going to do next week? Um, the next week I am going to stay in my house and because for the, how do you say, quarantine? Quarantine. <laughs> quarantine. 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 Um, yes, I stay in my house. One more, Jesenia. One more question. Um, Quiero ver, Eric. Okay, okay. Uh, when are you going? When are you going to go to the beach? Well, okay. I'm. I probably uh, go to the beach when all this is over. But I hope uh, these are these these are soon. This is soon. Okay, uh, this happens soon. Oh, sorry. I can hope I, can repeat? this happens. I hope this happens soon. Okay. I hope this happens soon, and probably I'm going to the Tunco because I like it so much. Okay. Probably I will go to a Tunco. Okay. Okay. Very good. Nice. Okay. Good. Now, uh, let me see. Liz, two questions. Okay. Um. Deal. Okay, Gio. Um, what are you going to do in your vacation? Um, probably um, I'll, I'll stay home uh, practicing 
guitar. Drinking a few beers. Uh, that, <laughs> that, 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 yeah. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Still, can you play the guitar? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Yes. Professionally or just as an amateur? Uh, Both. I'm not amateur, okay. but I think I, 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 I can make my, my make thing. Concert. Yeah. Okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good, that's good. Okay, one more question, Liz. Uh, the same person? Uh, no, you can choose somebody else. Okay, and you, teacher. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, to you, uh, the same person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gio. <laughs> no, 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 ask me. Okay, uh, what are you going to do when we finish that uh, class? This class, uh -huh. hey, okay, get bored, okay, get bored. <laughs> in this moment, okay, I think I will get bored because uh, in this moment, you are me, my only contact with the exterior people. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, yes, but you know, but, uh, um, I, I need to be in contact with people. So I think I'm gonna, I will get definitely bored when I finish this course because it's going to be more than one week probably that we are going to be without classes because the following next week when we finish the following week will be a vacation right yeah. for some companies i don't know how the companies will work with the vacation because some of them probably i don't know if they are going to give vacation or if they will continue working right so this yeah. is right now in this moment is not very clear I'm okay, but if, if but if that happens, then probably it will take like two weeks, you know, to begin another course. So then, I will definitely get bored. Okay, good. Uh, Jose, two questions. Okay. Uh, I can see. Ask Elisa. Ask. To Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto. Okay. okay. What are you going to do this weekend? Um, the same. The same. Hey, you're lucky, the yeah. same question. Change it. Yeah, yeah, the same question. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to work. Okay. I'm going to work until noon. Uh, then return home early. Okay, and then return home early. Okay, very good. Yeah. One more question, Saul, uh, Jose, Jose. Mm, let me see, to Roxana. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. Tell me, please. Where will, where, are you going to do the market? I am going to go to the market. I, I am going to buy some food, a vegetable, meal, oh, meat, chicken. Okay, good. Oil, I don't know. Perfect. <laughs> For my house. Yes, you need to have some. Uh, some food at home, right? Okay, yeah. Xiomara, Xiomara, two questions. Mm. Let me see. Gio. <laughs> Gio. Gio disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> when what? are you going to the supermarket? When? Yes, when? Uh, I don't know. Uh, um, probably, I, 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 no, <laughs> I don't want to go <laughs> to okay, the yeah. supermarket because I think I, I have all necessary for now. Okay, good. And besides, it's too crowded, right? The, the supermarkets are too crowded. Yeah. At least to wait, yeah. to wait in line, yeah. right? Yes, it's too much. Yeah. Okay, Xiomara, one more question. 
Mm, Yesenia. Uh, what are going to do on vacation? Mm, I I I going to the beach. Uh, or I going to what else? <laughs> Somewhere else. Somewhere else. Yes. <laughs> Some <the sea. laughs> what else you could say? Wherever. Yes, whatever. Because uh, the the is is a star in the house closed for much time. I think uh, I don't know. Is is I stress, don't. I it's don't. Stressful. No, me importa. I don't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter uh, where place. Uh, only <laughs> only I want to go. Okay. <laughs> All right, good. I think we can have a, a excursion trip, okay? We we can, you yeah. know, we we can uh, probably plan a excursion trip, and Liz is going to be the the tour guide, so she's got the plane tickets in the at the airport. I'm Veronica too, okay? Veronica and Liz can get the plane tickets for everybody, okay? And then we can plan a, a vacation in where, Liz? Where is no, the next place? only oh, I Veronica. can. Okay, the, take a ticket because I I sell alcoholic. Ah, okay. Oh, it's a different. It's a different kind of ticket. Yeah. <laughs> if you want a, a wine or something like that. Ah, okay. No, then I sell that. Okay. It's different. Okay. And Julius, can you prepare the tour? <laughs> I am a customer service. Okay, but you can prepare the tour. Yes. What is a good suggestion to travel? What is, uh, what is going to be a nice place to visit after this quarantine? Uh, in El Salvador? Like, you know, like Yesenia says, in, everywhere, anywhere, it doesn't uh -huh. matter. Uh, for example, uh, in the airport, uh, we explain to the passengers, visit the beach in El Salvador. Okay. okay. In El Salvador. And if I go to Costa Rica, for example? I like the beach, so okay, <laughs> it's the, the first place to okay. recommend. The, the, how do you say? Recomiendo? The, that I recommend. That I recommend to the passenger. Okay, good. And a second place? Second place, um, the mountain. Okay, a mountain, right? Here in El Salvador, we can go to El Pital, right? El Pital. Uh, or the uh, volcano. The volcanoes, right? That we have uh, San Salvador and what is the one? The Salco. Isalco and uh, La Matepec, right? That's the in Santa Ana, right? Okay, good. All right, thank you very much. All right, let's see the. Okay, these are, you know, questions about the. About the future. Okay, let me see now. Okay, let's do this one. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes, I don't know if it is yes. thick enough. Okay. Wait a minute, so we need to do something here because that's one. Listen and practice. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. Okay, listen again and pay attention to the pronunciation and intonation. Not here, teacher. No. We can hear, teacher. 
You can't? Here. Okay. Not here. The computer. Now. Listen and practice. Now? Yes, yes, okay. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. Okay. Questions about this vocabulary and these expressions? I'm so excited, we have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure, I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the, at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. If you see in, the conver in a conversation, they add, they put more elements, right? To make the conversation more fluent. Okay, sounds like fun. So, why don't you come with us? And then it says, do you mean it? I love to. I bring my surfboard. Okay, questions? Oh, no question? No. Okay, good. Then, uh, Veronica, can you do me a favor? Yes. You will be Julia, okay? You're going to read the part of Julia. And uh, Roxana? Yes. You are going to read the part of Nancy, okay? Okay, okay. Go ahead. Okay, read it. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sound like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I love to. I bring my surfboard. 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 Okay. surfboard. Uh -huh. Sounds like fun. Okay, very good. One more, one more. Uh, Sumana, you're going to be Julia, okay? And Liz, okay. Liz, you're going to be Nancy. Okay. I'm okay. so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I don't stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? I want to relax with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I love to. I bring my surfboard. Okay, why didn't you come with us? Okay, the expression, do you mean it, is like, really? Are you serious? Okay, are you really inviting me? Inviting me? Okay, so do you mean it is if you really want to say that? It's not only a, an expression, you have to say, okay, ah, come with me. And probably you say, ah, so he says no, right? Okay, good. Now, no questions then? What are the girls no. going to say? Where are the girls going to stay? At a relative's beach house. A relative's beach house? Yeah. Everybody agrees? Yes. 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 Okay. No C, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Next one. Number two. Uh, Jorge, can you read the question? Okay. Uh, number two. Yes, please. Okay. Julia is the second speaker. What plan does she have for the weekend? 
The first one, she's going to go to the beach with her cousin. Second, she's going to go camping. And third, she's going to, she is going to go boating. Boating. Mm -hmm. okay. boating. Okay. The answer? She's going to go to the beach one. with one. her cousin. The first one. The first, first, one. one. first one. First one. Okay. Now, first look, one. look for example that you say she's going to go to the beach. Okay, but here she's going to go camping, go boating. Okay, if you see after go, you use activities in ING. But these activities are outdoor activities. Okay? Yeah. For example, when this quarantine is over, I'm going to go fishing. I'm going to go swimming. I'm going to Perfect. go hiking. Okay? Mm. I'm going to go uh, shopping. Activities outdoor. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then you just go, go camping, go fishing, go boating, go rafting. No, no, in balsas, right? Go rafting in the raft. Uh, go mm -hmm. shopping, go walking, go hiking, go climbing. Uh, any activity? How do you say with it? Can canopy. Canopy. Yeah. What is this huh? activity? Canopy. activity. Yeah. I, I will go canopy, right? Okay. Uh, what oh. is the other one? Will you go down? Uh, rappelling. Okay, I will go. Rappelling. Rappelling. Okay. Activity. To be to be clear. The rappelling. Rappel. You know rappel? Yes. Yes. I love it. Uh -huh, yes. <laughs> when you go when you go down the the mountain. With rocks, right? Yes. Uh, what snorkeling. else? Huh? Snorkeling. 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 Uh, snorkeling. Snorkeling yeah. is another one. Okay. So these are activities, swimming, that you can do out there. Okay. Very good. Uh, let me see now. Uh, Carolina, can you please read the number three? Okay. okay. What might Julia do with her coasting? Mm -hmm. Stay home. Re read the options. Uh, stay home all day. Go shopping or go fishing. Okay. Stay fishing. Go fishing. Go fishing. Go fishing. Uh, fishing. Okay. One. If you see here, you have also go shopping, go fishing. Okay. Outdoor activities. All right. Okay. Okay, Jesse. Can you please read the number four? Okay. Uh, I am. Booked. Booked. For this. Come on. Booked. Booked. Uh, I am booked. Uh -huh. Booked. Uh, for this weekend. Okay. I will go. I uh, will go camping. Uh, I am going to the. To, I am going to go camping. Or mean go camping. I might. Might, might go might go camping. Mm -hmm. I think is the second. Yeah. Second one. Second one? Yeah. Yes. Because it's a plan, right? Yeah. Yes. It says I am booked. Okay, what is the meaning of might? What is booked? Booked is when you have a reservation already made. Reservation. A reservation mm -hmm. in a hotel, an uh, airplane ticket, okay? So that is booked. Might yeah. is it's podría, podría, right? Uh -huh, but it's a remote possibility, okay? It's a possibility, but it's a, you have a... But it's, it's different than, than cool, cool, like cool. Similar, similar to cool. Okay. okay. May and might. May is 50-50, okay? okay? For example, um, I may go, I may go to the supermarket tomorrow. Maybe yes, maybe maybe not. Okay, 50-50. Are you right, mate? If I say might, oh, mate, M A Y M A Y M Okay, may. Mm -hmm. And might is like 25% of possibility. I might go to the supermarket tomorrow. 25% yes, 75% no. If the police don't stop me, 
<laughs> the, police, the police don't uh, do not arrest me. Okay, they arrest me. <laughs> okay, they don't take me to. Take me to, to a quarantine. quarantine. Yes, to a quarantine <laughs> site. Okay. okay, good. Next one, number five, Eric. Okay. Sorry hey, be for, careful. for that sound. Yes, it's okay. Okay. Why, why should you say if you are insured? Okay, first, I'm going to leave around the end of June. Second, maybe I will leave around the end of June. And third, I will leave around the end of June. Maybe I will leave around yeah. the end of June. Second one. The second one, right? What yeah, should yeah. you say if you are not sure, if you are unsure? Unsure. Not sure. Yes, I'm going to leave is sure. <clears throat> Maybe yeah. if I know possibility, right? Yeah. And I will leave around the end of June is more certain. So is that? Maybe Second one? I will leave. Maybe. Okay. Sure? Yes. yes. I will submit it. It's in my it's in my progress. If I made a mistake, it's your fault, guys. Okay. <laughs> it's my grade, not your grade. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yes, sir. Okay. I think in this in this lesson we we need to literally uh, traduce everything in like Spanish. Going boya ah, mm -hmm. yes. yes. In some cases, Eric, in some cases it's possible. Okay, there are some lessons, there are some structures, grammar structures in English that are literal and it's very easy, right? But there are other cases that nada que ver, nothing to do. Right? <laughs> okay. So when you say, for example, in Spanish, how do you say nada que ver in English? Nothing to do. Nothing to do. Uh -huh, but it's oh, nothing okay. to do. Nothing es como na to nada que hacer, right? So, for okay. example, in that it case, could, literally doesn't work. Yeah. Okay. okay? For example, oh, for it, nothing to do. Huh? Nothing to do. And nothing to do is also, for example, well, nothing to do can be in, according to the context. Okay, this has nothing to do with the lesson. Esto no tiene nada que ver con la lección, right? This has nothing to do with the topic. Okay, and tomorrow, I don't have anything to do. Okay, this is because I have no activities. Okay, I am free. Okay, so the context is different. No tengo nada que hacer, right? I have nothing to do tomorrow. Okay, so if you invite me to a party, I am ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then this is because I have nothing to do. So then depends on the content. Be careful with the police. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I will. Okay, good. <laughs> so then we have, uh, okay, all of them correct. Okay, so you can do your, your uh, knowledge check. Okay, 5.3 and you'll be ready. Okay, let's see what we have for Monday. Okay, I'm slow. Okay, there you go. So we have the a final exam. A final exam. So in the final exam, let me see, just we have. So because we have to make a review. Okay, of all this. Okay, we're going okay, look. So this is what we're going to do. So we have a listening quiz. Okay, we have uh, too much. Then comparatives, when I use adjective comparatives, so this is one review that we're going to have on Monday. Too small, too spacious, too private, and enough. Okay, so then for Monday, we're going to practice with um, a comparatives. Okay, comparative, remember two and enough. Yes, for example, the, when you say I have a, suppose, can you, uh, for example, can you go out in this day, can you go out, can you go to the supermarket if you are 10 years old? In these days? No, you can't. No? You can't, why not, Eric? Because if you uh, use if you use two 
or enough? Sorry? Enough. Use to or can enough? Can you repeat? Yes. For example, can you go to the supermarket if you are 10 years old? No. Aha, uh -huh, no? Because uh, it's not correctly. Uh -huh, because? Because it's unsafe. Because, uh -huh, but then you can say uh, because, enough. because enough. Yeah. I am too young. Too young. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, this is one. Okay. Because I am too young. I am 10 years old. Or I am not old. Enough. Enough. enough, enough, enough. Okay, enough. Mm. Yes. Okay, okay. For example, uh, <laughs> suppose uh, it's somebody, suppose that everything is normal in these days, okay? Everything is normal in these days. And in this moment, a friend sends you a WhatsApp and invites you to play soccer or to go to a party. Okay, or to play soccer for the boys or the girls, or go to a party. What would you say? Right now, after this class, you receive the WhatsApp and say, hey, why don't we go out right now and play soccer or go to a party? What I, would you say? I decide to uh, play soccer. Uh -huh. Would you accept? No. In this, uh, in I don't this remember. Moment, you, what would you say? Uh, uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, okay, I like it. <laughs> okay, in your case, you would say yes, okay? Yeah, I would like it. You can say, for example, it is it's too, too late. Too, it's too late. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, no, sorry, I can't. It's too late. That could, that could be, okay? But if you say, say, yeah, sure, no problem. But yeah. some possible answers, you uh, said two or enough, it's, it's too late. Too late. I am too tired. I'm too tired. Okay. Okay. Um, what else? Okay. Uh, for example, it is not. I am too busy. I am I'm too studying busy. right now. Too busy. Yeah. I am too busy. Yes. Okay. You can also say. Uh, uh, let me see. It is not. It is not. Let me see, uh, safe enough. Safe enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is, too it, late. It is not early enough. It is not early enough. Okay, correct. Okay, so you see how much vocabulary you can practice? It is not, it is not early enough. Okay, what else? Okay, so this kind of practice is what we need to, to have, right? Just in different situations. For example, uh, can you, let's say for example, can you get married? Can you get married? Yeah. Yes, no problem. What would you answer? Are you ready to get married, the ones who are single? It is too scary. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, yeah, actually it is true, you know, for some people it is too scary, right? It's possible for some people, yes, it is. The reality. <laughs> what else? What could be another one? I, I'm not prepared. I am yeah. not, uh-huh. Prepared. You say prepared enough. enough, correct. You need to be prepared for that, okay? So you, see, you can always find a way that is, for example, it's too scary, or probably um, it I is too young. Too young. It is not the uh -huh. moment. It is too expensive, okay? Because you need to invest money, mom, uh, money to have a party, right? Uh, it I, is too difficult to... to... Uh -huh. uh, I to think find I the, am... the, the right person, I think. <laughs> okay, it is too difficult to find the right person. I think I am too young. And, and, and also, I will, I will say we need to think a lot. Uh -huh. uh, it is necessary uh, to, to think a lot, okay? It's different, but 
because in that case you're going to use to think it's only with one o okay got it okay so this kind of practice so we're going to check the the exam and we're going to review the topics according to the exam so that you are ready for thursday to finish with the test okay okay no yeah. questions at this moment no we're clear okay good perfect people so then uh have a nice weekend practice as much as you can okay enjoy your weekend if it is possible we watch a lot of netflix in english mm -hmm. okay, no spanish and see you monday same time thank you everybody good night good night everybody good night everybody good night